Whether I have a night out with Bad Bunny or end the war in Ukraine. <laughs> uh, what's your name? David. David, I'm here with David. And what's your pub's name here? Chico. Chico and Chico. Um, just a random question. What's What do you think is the best age to be alive? Alive? Yeah, like... Any a, age. Any age? Yeah. And why? Why? Why is there no, like, uh, specific age? Well, yeah. Age? I would say every stage is different I mean but yeah I mean look good any age I said it would be good just like the simple fact to be alive yeah. pretty much yeah life is beautiful I mean I, lo I love that answer <laughs> you thank know. you very much <laughs> so we're here with what's your name Chuck we're here with Chuck um the question is what what's the what do you think is the best age to be alive in your opinion any age where you're actually living right you can be living or be dead at any age your whole i reason. think it's more about attitude than it is actual age okay. i mean a life is enough pretty yeah much. um do you think there's like an age where there's like a learning experience where you kind of just like have that change as a man or i think that can happen at any time um you know for me it happened pretty early on um I went to the Naval Academy and that was an experience which accelerated my growth as a human being and as a man dramatically. I learned early on like what my limits were and what they weren't. Um, and I learned, you know, I so at a pretty early age, I learned I had nothing left. I had to prove to anybody after graduating from that place. And carrying that attitude forward has given me a lot of opportunity. Um, to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. So, like I said, I, th I think it's much more about attitude and growth um, and being willing to continue to grow rather than stagnate than it is about any particular age. And I think at any age, you can sort of discover that um, and decide that you want to live, you know, in a, in a different, more vibrant way. What's, like, one advice I, like, you would give me just, like, for, to take with me? I think one of the big issues for your generation, and it's a generational issue, it's not an individual parenting issue, um, is helicopter parenting. You were never given the opportunity to fail at a young age and be able to pick yourself back up and go, okay, that sucked, but it wasn't the end of the world. And so a lot of folks in your generation, there's a generational ethos against risk taking um, and, and against and this attitude that if I don't try, I won't fail. That failing, we taught you that like failing was the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Um, and it's not. Failing is growing, failing is learning. Yeah. Um, and picking, the, the most important thing you can learn is the ability to pick yourself back up after you've been shellacked and go, okay, that was awful, um, but I can move on and I can do better next time. I, yeah, definitely uh, learn by mistake kind of a uh, yes. uh, model. What does the world need more of right now in general? Empathy. Why is that? Because a lot of people have put themselves in two camps and, and created an artificial enemy where there doesn't need to be one. We have stopped trusting each other and therefore we stop caring about each other when we stop trusting each other. And empathy for someone who's very, very different from you um, can move mountains. Um, and we would get along much better as a people and waste a lot less time being angry at each other and being in, in love with our own outrage. There is so much time and effort wasted on on our you know being in love with our own outrage um, instead of going out there and saying how can i make things better instead of being outraged by what someone else or some other group is doing go out there and make the world a better place yourself yeah. be active 100 percent. i feel like you know uh, the world needs like you said more empathy and more compassion you know we're to allow each other like you know i want to uh, like that's why i'm asking you this i want to get into your perspective you know like you know, obviously we, we got raised differently. We got a yeah. different environment. So we can only know, you know, so much. Right. We are, we are trapped to a certain extent by our own experience. 
and when we listen to each other's stories, um, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm a big fan of the Maw storytelling, but we hear other people's stories who have a different perspective and people who we disagree with. We need to find people who we disagree with, who we still can love and understand. And that love and understanding despite disagreement is so important and it has become so lost in the last 20 years. I definitely feel that 100%. We're here with Chuck. I appreciate your answers. Really thoughtful and deep. Um, they make sense. So thanks, Chuck. Good appreciate luck with it. the YouTube video. Appreciate it. Thank you. Either have a night out with Bad Bunny or end the war in Ukraine. <laughs> end Honestly. the war. End the war. Yeah? Yeah, say no to violence. <laughs> okay. Why? But that's hard. Yeah? Why? Though? It's like... What's your reasoning? Because, I mean, oh, I'm getting nervous. Um, I'm just the type of person I'm like I don't I don't like to see like I don't even like to watch fights because I get nervous with like violence I just think that in a perfect world you know we shouldn't be fighting we should all come to a common agreement and live a happy life so if like Bad Bunny would have hit you like let's be out like, <laughs> like no like I'd rather honestly though what do I have in common with Bad Bunny nothing but okay. would I love to be approached by Bad Bunny yeah but when you put those two together I'm gonna choose ending ending the war. Okay, you chose the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I would do the same. Yeah, uh, I mean, as much as I love Bad Bunny. Yeah, we like, love and we love <laughs> Bad Bunny. I, we, so I, you're gonna I choose yourself or like thousands of people, millions of people who are dying every day. So. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. What's your name? Ariana. Ariana. Uh, Dayel. Dayel, thank you.